Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Greenhouse SMP. Today I am finishing up a few things and replace, replenishing the um, stock in my shop. So, uh, I also took the advice of you guys who left comments to um, suggest what I should do to rebuild my shop. And so I have done that. I also, hold on, I went mining. What did I do with all that? Um, did I put it all in? Oh, I guess I did. Okay, so we are going to put this back and we're going to go get the blackstone because that uh, I've sold some of that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what I've done uh, yeah let's do that one two three four five so I didn't really like where I had been mining for blackstone and ancient debris and things like that. So I went ahead and changed it so that I could access it a little bit safer. It's not super safe. Um, oh, I know what I wanted. I need pressure plates. I need pressure plates because I am using the fortress to get down and until I have a better way those are trapdoors there's the pressure plates I am probably going to need more of those but I also went to the iron farm and got a bunch of iron too where's all my stuff that's glass. That's glass and blackstone. <laughs> hmm. This is very strange. Because I was pretty sure I got a shulker of blackstone. Uh, not blackstone, of um, iron blocks. I also went ahead and got a couple of things that I need to find a place for. I'm very excited about them. They're so cute. Uh, Blue Owl does an amazing job with her maps and how she makes them all look, and it's just, it's wonderful. Um, I am probably going to... Do you have a crafting table in here? No, but I have a spare in my pocket, so we're going to... I should sleep. Well, until I can sleep. Um, we're going to do this, and then... Oh, I guess I didn't need the crafting table for that. Alright, let's leave them as ingots first. Because I don't know how many I'm going to need put my helmet back on and then we are gonna hit the nether all right so you already know about all this that's a regular skeleton we're not interested in regular skeletons anything in here no so This is what I wanted to do. We're going to put all of this down and then I can remove these because I'm not going to need them because this will be unspawnable. Nope. Oh, I hope I have enough iron. Mm -hmm. 
So basically, we're just going to spawn proof in here. And then I have a staircase that I will eventually put stairs in. I think they're above me. And this will be the new way to get to the mine. Wow. Okay. Well, let's hope 64 gets me to the edge there. Um, I went ahead and blocked this up so that they couldn't come in because uh, pigmen were coming in and I wanted that to stop. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I have one left. Alright, so we're going to put uh, this bar back because they can still spawn in this area here for now, so I want to just make it safe. So anyway, uh, we come down here, I'm going to have to, well, I'll, I'll fix this a bit more later. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I had to go this way because I had started digging that way and it was all lava. And it was deep lava and I just couldn't dig through it. So, I stopped. But I have some chests here to store some stuff. And then I have been mining in here. I've taken all the blackstone out. Um, all the quartz that I could find. All the gold that I could find. Pretty much anything that seemed to be useful. And so this is my new blackstone slash ancient debris slash everything else that I need for my shop. So I've done that. I've been busy this week, as you can tell. Okay, back up here, and then we are going to head over to the shopping district so I can replenish my shop and see if there is anything new that I could potentially purchase. And to show you the shop, because you haven't seen it yet. Eh, might as well put that away. Okay, all the clicking. Click, 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 click. Alright, and I'm not taking this down yet. And that stays the way it is, so. Going this way. Periodically checking for wither skeletons. Because I would love to get a third head so I could go after a beacon. So there may be an there may be a potential for me to go and uh, do some wither skeleton hunting with somebody. Oh, wow. Okay. They brought that way out already. Very cool. Now I can't remember who it was. Proteus? Wes? Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Well, I didn't want to do that. Alright. Oh, I have mail. <laughs> Might as well get my mail while I'm flying around up here. What's in my mailbox? Whoa! What is all this? Gunpowder? Um... Was this supposed to be in Monster Mania rulebook? Okay. Let's um let's get to the shopping district and take a look at that. Oh, oh hey Hal. <laughs> Good to see you. Okay. So that's not the shopping district. That's the shopping district. So. My new shop is here. 
I decided to make it look like a mix between a castle and a nether fortress. So you've got the little, um, and I'm sure there's a name for it, and I just don't know what they are. But I brought some nether in here. We've got carpets, and we've got all the stuffs. Alright, let's refill real quick. So in this side, we have the blackstone and other nether items. Uh, we've got nether wart, we've got nether brick, red nether brick, and the actual bricks, and then we've got the, the woods. And, oh, shroom lights! Oh, I gotta go back and get those. Um, and then over here we had the originals, the stained glass, the clear glass, and the slime blocks. Oh, we need some more slime blocks too, apparently. Um, clear glass was sold out. I had to actually I used some of my other stock. Oops. Well, let's not do that. Let's put those back on. Alright. Glass in there, and I'll have to bring more glass anyway. Because there was not enough. And I ran out of emeralds, so... Alright, we need to go get some shroom lights, which means a lot of harvesting. So anyway, that's the shop. I wanted to make it kind of nethery, um, and then this, this side I wanted to just keep, I guess, normal. So I am going to head back to my base, get some shroom lights and restock the shop. And, oh, the Monster Mania thing. Let's look at that. Let's look at that real quick. Alright, Monster Mania box. With the rule book. Welcome to Monster Mania. Created by the Banana Shrimp. When playing Mob Mania, there are two stats. One stat is, I guess, health? Oh, health. <laughs> and the other which is attack. Every turn, a player has a choice of either attacking or merging mobs. Attack is pretty simple. You choose who you'd like to attack and then take your attack from their health. For merging, you can merge two of the same monster or two of a lesser mob to count as one, i.e. two zombies plus a skelly is a creeper. Here's the progression. Zombie, skeleton, creeper, enderman, wither, dragon. You start with three zombies on the field. Every turn, you can lay down one of the lowest tier mob you have. Okay, so if you have no zombies but you have skeletons, you can lay down skeletons. If you have one zombie, you only lay down zombies. The winner of the game is the one who defeats all the opponent monsters. The only way to defeat a monster is to drain it zero health or below. Good luck to all those who play. Okay! We have nine zombies. Thirty endermen. Skeleton. Creepers. Oh no, I have five Endermen, 30 health. Okay. Five attack, ten attack, dragon. Alright. I will have to ask a few more questions before we play that, and then. I'm not sure why I have a shulker full of gunpowder. So. I'm going to ask around on the Discord and on the server and find out what's going on there. In the meantime, I'm going to put this stuff off my hotbar so I don't accidentally throw it like I threw my boots. Still not really sure how that happened either, but teach their own. And we go. Mine is actually right here at the end of the glass. Whee. All right, guys, so I'm going to just go harvest and I will catch you later.
guys. So, I have not done a whole lot since I left you last. I did some grinding and I did a little bit of work on uh, just refilling the shop. So, we have warped wood, we have more crimson wood in here, we have some more shroom lights. I did have to raise the price though because shroom lights are frankly a pain in the butt to get and it takes forever and so it is now one diamond for 32 and then glowstone one diamond per stack and let's see that wasn't out but I also did slime and the glass is replenished so that is it I don't really actually have anything else for this week because I'm running out of time and this has to come out tomorrow so I will leave you there for now and I will see you next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.